In today's tech tip, I'll be showing you how to bypass a password protected folder and get in and see your files even without the password of your password protected folder. Now this works for password protected folders that use the batch file to password protect. So if you double click on the folder to open the files, you find a batch file in here and you need to double click on the batch file and it's going to ask for the password but you don't have this password. You forgot it, or maybe it's on a computer you bought and you just want to check what's in there. So what you can do is you can open this batch file in a text editor and actually see the password in plain text. So what you wanna do is click once on the batch file to select it, and then right click and look for the open with menu. If you don't see it here from the new right click menu, simply click on show more options and it should get the old open with menu. And you can go ahead and open it with a text editor like notepad. And if you don't see that option, then you can also use the notepad plus plus. Simply go ahead and install notepad plus plus on your computer. And then when you right click, you should find the option to edit with notepad plus plus. So click on that and that should open the code of this batch file. Now inside the code, look for the if not section and the password is right here. So this one after the two uh, equals signs, a space, then this is a password to unlock that password protected folder. You can see it right there in plain text. You can actually go ahead and right click on it and copy and then close the text file. And now, since you know the password, you can double click on the batch file, paste the password, and then press enter, and it's going to reveal the password protected files of that folder. So you can see all my files are here, including the text document that created that batch file is also here. So to remove this completely, simply delete that batch file. And now you'll always have access to that formerly password protected folder. It's now no longer password protected. So you can always come back, double click on it and access all the files. In fact, if you want to, you can actually remove this private folder by selecting everything in there, putting it back in the main folder and then delete that private folder together with that text document. Everything goes back to exactly the way it was before you password protected that particular folder. So that's how you can bypass a password protected folder in Windows 11 or rather fix a forgotten password for a password protected folder. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below and good luck.